Hi lovely earth signs, welcome to my channel Joy Energy Tarot, I'm Jenny. This is an intuitive guided reading for the month of October and I hope you enjoy it. If it resonates with you, please push like, subscribe and notify. And if it doesn't, doesn't matter, go and watch another lovely reader. So I've already asked for guidance from Spirit. I've done the tarot cards here and then um, we'll go on to your oracle messages and guidance as well for Virgo, Capricorn and Taurus. So let's get on with it, let's get started. So you're starting the month, Earth Signs, with conflict. You've either got conflict within you or conflict around you. But this is a five. A fives are about choice, freedom. Okay, so you can choose to free yourself from that conflict. It can be inner conflict about choosing what job to do or where you live or something like that. But it's a learning card. This is, a, as you can see, they're learning how to fight. So you're learning to either overcome conflict or to learn about something new. And it's giving you a little bit of conflict internally. But it's positive. You're moving forward away from that. Some of you, you might be conflicted about whether to go to the doctor or whether to go to the dentist. But others of you, this is where um, your emotions are now feeling what much more stable. You're in control of your emotions. You're feeling quite intuitive, kind, generous, and strong. Very powerful person. For others of you, this is somebody around you, and you may have conflict to do with your dad or a brother, something like that. Okay, but there's this lovely person around you as well. You can get advice from them. Or the rest of you, this is you and where you're at at the moment. Now you're moving away from any tribulations or any um, skullduggery, thievery, lying, um, things like that that you've gone through in the past. This is a seven, it's about learning. You're learning to move forward. You might have been ripped off, let down, lied to, cheated, all those horrible things in the past. But there you are, you've packed your bag, you're moving away from it. You've sailed to um, happier shores. So she's quite happy carrying her bag close to her side. So for some of you, you may need to still keep an eye on things to make sure you don't get ripped off. But this is where you've learnt from all of those awful situations that you've been through. And now you're much, much wiser. Okay? You're moving forward with that wisdom. Some of you may be moving house or moving jobs. But you've got that wisdom and you're moving forward to a secure, happy phase in your life now. This is a contentment card where you've got the money that you need. You've got the security. You're feeling quite safe now after about the first week in October. No time when you be watch this. No time in the spirit world, maybe watch this, is the right time. Because here you are now feeling in control of what you want to do. This is, this is the boss card. You have got, you're taking control of your life. You're leading other people. You're showing other people the way. This is where you are set the goals and you're going for it now. You're quite passionate about what you want to do and what you are doing. For some of you, this is somebody around you that you can get advice from. It can be your boss, okay? And they're a good boss. Now, this is where you've been, you are weighing up your options. You're trying to work out what you really want. You've got the strength of Leo here. You're being guided from above. Um, this is a card of patience. You're very wise. So whatever you're working on or waiting for, they're telling you, be patient. And then you'll get that balance back in your life, okay? I feel that some of you are waiting for the news of a new job. You may have been looking at something... Um, waiting to see uh, the results for something, you are, you will get the results that you want, but um, you will have to look outside the square. I think you'll have to look in a new direction. It might be um, a job or um, a work opportunities or where you want to live, and um, or it might be you've been looking at rest homes or something like that, but they're saying to you, look in a different direction, and then you'll get the results, and then that brings about the beginning of a new plan something that you're passionate about it could be a new job new course that you want to do a new place to live in that sort of thing a promotion at work or just coming up with a new plan that makes you feel really passionate and happy about what you're doing it's the birth see that's why it's a little kid it's the birth of a new of new energy and feeling really good about something and that's sort of towards the end of the middle of the of the um the, the end of the second week the middle of the month and now you're feeling contented with your money. You've made the sacrifices to get where you are and you're quite happy with your money situation. This is an earth sign card, you know, Virgo card. For others of you, you might be going to the bank seeking out a loan. And for others of you, you've made these sacrifices to get where you are and you're feeling very contented with your money. 
And this is enabling you now to come out of the dark into the light. You're moving forward in a new direction and knowing where you're going now, feeling contented about your life and moving on, which is wonderful. You are feeling a bit emotionally blur though. This is a card of your emotions are run down. You, you're being offered some sort of opportunity. You've got your other cups here. You've got your dreams and your goals here. But you can't see opportunities at this stage because you're feeling quite blur. And it could be where you've been let down in the past or you haven't been able to achieve your goals or you've been hurt. So do something to lift up your vibration because even though you're moving forward, you're feeling quite exhausted okay so you are coming out of the dark into the light and moving in a different sort of direction but you need to lift your vibration do something that makes you happy you might need a holiday you might need a break somewhere and you might need to just sit somewhere at, in, in the forest or at the beach and that and lift that vibration because then that will make you be able to see these opportunities. That's an opportunity coming towards you, but at the moment you're blinded because you're overthinking things and you're feeling a bit um, down. And this is that card of um, overthinking everything, losing sleep, worrying. Um, your soul will pull you out of that when you're ready, but it's a 10, it's the ending of that worrying. That's coming to an end and you'll be able to move forward. So if you are overthinking things, write down the pros and cons of what you really want so that it gets it out of your mind and then towards the end of the month here you are now you've got justice coming your way so some of you have got contracts to sign or papers legal papers to sign of some sort and you will get justice you will get what you deserve it's like karma here you are weighing up your options too getting the balance back in your life so for some of you it may not be legal things but it's saying you're going to get the justice that you deserve and karma is coming your way whatever you've put out there if it's good it'll come back to you if it's bad that'll come back to you as well but you're going to get exactly what you deserve okay and let's hope it's good i feel too like this is just such a lovely green card it's going to bring about a healing a healing of a situation for you and then you're going to be celebrating. You're happy there, you're celebrating with girlfriends or family, and it's a love celebration like the doves here representing love. It's joy and happy, oops, joy and happiness, feeling really happy. So there's a celebration there towards the end of October, and you're waiting for some news to come in. You're looking back there, you are guided, you've got your sword, so you're, you're waiting for news or information to come your way. So there'll be emails, phone calls, things like that that you are wanting to know the truth, you're seeking the truth, okay, you can see more clearly, cut through the crap and seek the truth. It might be to do with this contract, if you're waiting for the contract, you want to have all the details clarified for you. And then you're moving towards the end of the month, this is spirit telling you, you have everything you need. So some of you might be feeling a bit lonely or don't think you've got the ability to do a job, you might think it's um, too hard or something like that. But they're telling you, no, you have got everything you need, okay? You might feel like something's missing, but you've got what you need, all right? This is also representing people who want to do something independently and work on their own. You can do it, okay? Now, the story covering the whole month is, you're reminiscing now and looking back, you know, something might have happened recently that makes you look back and feel a little bit sad. And some of you might be feeling, um, looking back to a happier time when you felt more secure. You've got the ability to manifest your dreams. It might be your childhood dreams. You could be looking back to when you had plans and you could see more clearly about what you wanted to do. You're reminiscing a bit, but you are the magician. You are just as in touch with heaven as you are with earth. You're strong, you're independent. Look at the, the lovely glowing light that emanates from you. You can manifest whatever it is that you truly want. Just focus on it. Ask your guides for help on how to achieve what it is that you really want. So this is a card of communication too. You will be receiving and giving out lots of information. And this is going to lead you to... Um, using your creative ability, the moon card. So you could be um, having quite vivid dreams, using your imagination. Now this is where this comes into account. It's where your imagination can be running overtime and running wild. But they're telling you your emotions are going up and down. And while it does that, 
life still goes on below the ocean. So you can come up at this time, especially with this next to it, great new plans, ideas, using your intuition and being guided, using your um, manifestation power. So you can create something really, really important and something really new. You can solve the problems that have been annoying you and going around in your head. You can do it. And they're saying, you've got the ability to do it, okay? So you're going to come up with something creative and something new. And this is going to help you learn for your future. This is like something coming in slow and steady. And it helps you set up your future and feel secure and safe. And there you are now. It's enabling you too to leave behind those old emotions. So some of these old emotions were holding you back. You might have been living in the past or clinging on to somebody or some outdated feeling that you thought you needed to have and it could have been blocking you. That's what that Four of Cups is about too. Could have been blocking you from moving forward that you've become, a, you've become aware of that. This is an eight, karma. You realize now that those memories and things that were holding you back belong in the past and you are now moving forward and chasing your dreams you've got the nine of cups this is like dreams starting to come true satisfaction feeling great so work out what your dreams are it's like your dearest wish whatever you've been wanting as long as you make the effort to get there and i feel that with the eights in here you will be making the effort plus the justice card whatever you put out you will get back okay and that will help you make your dreams come true and then people are also going to recognize that you do a great job at what you what you're doing a great job okay whatever it is that you're doing so let's get on and see what your guided messages are from the lovely kyle gray ancestors angels and ancestors today so this is what we're using beautiful art by lily moses a kiwi virgo your guided message is arrow arrow uh, right. um, here we go surround yourself with protective energy Virgo okay surround yourself with positive people and experiences and environments that make you feel safe call on your angels guides and ancestors to bring you protection so you must need that this month, um, Virgo. If you're in a situation where you feel that not everything is as clear as it seems, trust your intuition. There are energies in your current situation that aren't fully aligned with your intentions and goals or with your kindness. Follow your intuition about whom to trust and what to trust. If you can take time to retreat or to step out of this situation to assess what is going to be beneficial for you, do it. In any event, this is a time to call on the energy of protection and to place yourself in a space that feels safe, Virgo. Well, that's important, doesn't it? Yes, because there's spiritual vampires out there, situations or people that suck you dry. And when you feel like that, you need to get back into nature, you need to ground yourself, have a shower, you know, to wash away the energies from your aura and keep grounded and stay positive. Do anything to stay positive. Friendship, nurture your relationships, okay? Here, talk to your friends. And your angel message is, you are a special person. You do make a difference. So remember that. Okay, Virgo. Now we're going on to Capricorn. Oh, Medicine Guardian. Medicine Guardian. Be open to healing information, Capricorn. Okay. Listen to what is coming up within you and what has been shared with you by trustworthy others in your sorry and what has been shared with you by trustworthy others in your life. Pay attention to healing information. Your being exposed to information and insights will have a dramatic healing effect upon your life. If you're working through something mentally or emotionally, know that there are spiritual energies supporting your healing. If you're working through something that is physically challenging, pay particular attention to information that's coming to you that feels inspired, insightful and warm. <clears throat> it will be supportive of your wellness. Your angels are here to remind you that your natural state is one of wholeness and you are on the road to revealing that wholeness once more. And your guided messages are from the 
magical wisdom cards. Competition, summon courage and self-confidence. Have courage and self-confidence, Capricorn. Believe in yourself. Don't just think about it, do it, Capricorn. Okay? And Taurus, warrior. You've got the Maori warrior. Be fearless and stand strong. Kia kaha. Okay. Don't back down. Make your opinions heard. Don't settle for second best, Taurus. If you're experiencing fear at this time, know that this means whatever's going on is important to you. Whatever you whenever you feel fear, you're on the verge of something big. Perhaps a massive breakthrough that is going to really help you move forward. If you have a situation on your hands where you have to face someone or something that's been unsettling you, know that you're being guided to call upon your inner warrior. Don't falter and don't be frightened because you have the energy to protect yourself now and at all times. Okay, fearless warrior, Taurus. And your message, children, know that your children are protected. It's interesting, similar cards come out for um, other, other signs, even though I shuffle and shuffle. Do not live in the past, Taurus. Look forward to the future and rejoice in the journey ahead. That's a good message for all of us, actually. And lovely Louise Hay for the month of October. I trust the intelligence within me. Whatever is happening out there is only a mirror of my own limited thinking. All right, so change your thinking to positive and have confidence you can do it. Okay, Earth Signs, if you like this, please push like, subscribe and notify. I do private readings, joyenergytarot at gmail.com. Blessings to you all. Have a wonderful month. Ka kite anō. See you again. Bye.